Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to uh, show you guys my uh, uh, my duty belt. Uh, we are not issued a duty belt, however we're issued all the gear for it, so it's kind of weird, but uh, we do have to purchase our own duty belt. However, most of the stuff you'll see has been issued to us. So let's just jump right on in. Uh, so the first thing, yeah, this is kind of the way I have it on my belt, or uh, I have it on. Uh, I usually have a belt keeper, and by the way, this, everything's left to right, so here, this side's on my left, and this stuff's on my right, so I uh, just keep that in mind. <clears throat> so I do keep a belt keeper right next to, uh, I have a mini flashlight, my OC spray, multi-tool, and another flashlight. This is a little bit further to my back, so this really isn't all the way to my left. Uh, this kind of sits at my... Uh, left hip, but uh, so I do wear a belt keep right there. It just kind of holds this stuff up uh, in here Is a uh, um, Streamlight uh, this was the PT1 AA um, Pretty nice flashlight um, It's real nice um, for when you're a big one, you don't need the mag light or even the, the other one that I have here. Um, real handy to have just a little flashlight. And this has different modes as well. I think it dims out. Maybe. Let's see. I think it dims out. It's not going to work for me, is it? And it also has strobe mode. Uh, so maybe this only has one high high and strobe. I think it has um, high, medium, low as well. But anyhow, uh, so I keep that right there. And next is our OC spray. And we are issued um, the uh, Sabre Red Crossfire. Um, this is, you know, as you guys know, uh, it works in any direction. Uh, it'd be upside down. Um, so that's pretty nice. Uh, that's getting pretty old. I'm going to have to probably get a supply and get a new one. Uh, the multi-tool were not issued. That is uh, completely optional. Uh, very nice to have. Uh, this one is not the right size for this holster. But, uh, uh, just a little, I think just a little cheapo Sheffield. With a multi-tool got pliers on and stuff i've used this multiple times <clears throat> again i have a mag light i do not carry this all the time by the way guys this thing's old school um usually again it's, it's a backup uh, but uh, we are provided the mag light two keepers here and then your medical gloves this is a two um, glove carrier <clears throat> Uh, now you're kind of like, what the heck is right here? Well, this is technically where my radio holster is supposed to go, uh, which is right here. Um, I don't like wearing it. Uh, it fell off many times trying to push cars out of the way. So I uh, deadlined it <clears throat> and decided to go uh, with the uh, radio just mounted right on my duty belt. So we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, and then here is the Streamlight Stinger LED. This thing's been great. This is not the um, dual switch. This is strictly the uh, switch on the, the top here. Um, again, very bright. This does have the different modes. High. And then this does have strobe mode also. So, uh, And then I do have the cone. I think I've showed that in a previous video. But I do have a cone that mounts to the top for directing traffic. Very bright. I much prefer the uh, Streamlight over the Maglite. So again, here's our radio. I believe this is the um, XTS 2000 or 25,000 series. Or 2500, 2500 series radio. <clears throat> We're not issue the... Uh, I want to call the Motorola Apex series motors yet. Uh, they are working on it. I don't think it's going to be the full size that the 
uh, law enforcement officers to carry. Um, uh, again, this is just covering up the, the agency here, just protect the agency information and stuff. So um, this one, I do keep the extension mic on um, because this obviously is on a belt and it's a pain in the butt to keep taking it off. So it's just easier uh, clip this on. I usually wear uh, this uh, right below my mouth um, in the center of my uh, uniform. <clears throat> uh, sometimes I'll put it up on the lapel, but most times right in the middle. Uh, usually attached to my uh, buttons and stuff. Another uh, keeper. <clears throat> Again, a lot of weight right here in this section between these, this, and this. And then the cell phone, there's a lot of weight. So I do kind of beef up the keepers on that side. Um, oh, by the way, this is a Night Eyes uh, flashlight holder. These are, are very good. Um, very impressed with the quality of these. Uh, this is probably my fifth one or something I've used uh, or purchased. Uh, they do wear out a little bit, um, especially if they get dirty and stuff. But uh, this one's lasted me quite a while. And then here is the Night Eyes uh, cell phone. And I do use a, uh, or do have a Galaxy Note 8. So those of you guys looking for uh, something for your duty belt that will hold your phone, this is their, I believe their extra large or extra, extra large series. Uh, I found this at uh, Bass Pro. Bass Pro is a carrier of the Night Eyes uh, series of stuff. So check it out. Uh, again, great. Uh, if I didn't have my cell phone in my hand, I'd show you that how this fits. I will say the top doesn't go all the way down. Uh, I will say that it probably will hang a little bit there. So it, it doesn't go all the way down. But uh, again, great. It holds my phone uh, fantastic uh it's actually because i do have an otter box but the otter box uh, doesn't fit on the duty belt uh, whiff here so uh, it, it kind of doesn't work so and then a uh, basic uh, key holder again not a law enforcement officer don't need the concealment one where it wraps around keeps your keys quiet uh, and then also we have uh, the clicker so i usually keep that one always on my um <clears throat> duty belt and just unlock and lock my car and stuff when I'm out of the car. The uh, DD belt itself is the uh, Sam Brown belt from Gauls. Uh, this thing is several years old. Um, that's the information. Um, I'm a bigger guy and uh, I've not had any issues with this. Um, most people have the little button in the middle, uh, especially for law enforcement officers. You don't want somebody stealing the belt off of you uh, if you're down or incapacitated. But uh, for my purpose, I just, you know, it's got the two tabs and it clicks real good. Uh, very comfortable. Um, as long as your belt uh, around your waist is tight. I can't use the under belt uh, that was issued to me. That's what they issued to you instead of a um, regular duty belt. I went to the, uh, uh, I don't know, it was like the FBI conference several years ago, and uh, one of the vendors needed to look at my duty belt. I happened to be wearing my uniform and duty belt, and uh, it was kind of embarrassed when he was like, no, that's not your duty belt, that's just your underbelt. So why would they? Because I was a rookie uh, just out of the, uh, out of just getting into the uh, volunteering and stuff. So uh, there you go, guys. That's um, the uh, duty belt setup. Hope you guys like, enjoy, uh, like, and subscribe. Enjoy the videos too. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.